Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're looking at quizzes. They recently announced some new question formats, so we're going to dive in and take a look at those. So you could create a new quiz like, like always, but we're going to just dive in. I've already created, started working on a new quiz. So we'll go to my quizzes. I can then select my quiz and select edit. And I can start to edit it. So in the top left corner, you can see the type of question. So we've got a checkbox. If I click new question, you'll be able to see. So we've got multiple choice, checkbox, fill in the blank, a poll and an open-ended question of the new formats that are available. So just go through and look at those. So this is the checkbox option. So very similar in a way to the multiple choice, but it could be that you're getting them to select uh, a category that says something about them themselves. So as before, you can add an image in place of text, or you can add a mathematical equation. You can also alter the length of time that they have to respond to the question. So I'm happy with that one. Moving on to the second question type, this is fill in the blank. So I've written my question in, I've added my dots to highlight where the blank is, and then I've put in a word. I can accept alternatives, so I could put in an alternative I've wanted. Again, I can alter the length of the time. I could add media or a mass equation. So with, for media, if I wanted to, I could put a, an image in there, which I maybe created in something like Canva, where I've created my, my sentence with a gap, but I'm happy with it like that. Have, hit save. We go to the poll type question, we click edit. Put in your question, put in what your options are there. Again, you can alter the length of time and you can add images as before. I'll click save. And then finally, the last question type is the open-ended question. We can hit edit. We can put in our question and we can alter the time. So potentially we're gonna give slightly longer because they've got to write a sentence. And again, as before, you could add a mass equation or media. So we'll click save on that one. I'm happy that I've finished the quiz. So I click finish quiz and then click practice and copy the practice link and then open up a new tab and just paste that in. So this is what the new question tab would look like. I can turn off the timer and the power ups and hit play. So this is the checkbox format and I've got it set that gives me the answers immediately after the question. Just put anything in for this one. It won't mark this one, but it does give you an answer to review what students have said. And you put in your missing word and it will give them an answer because you've set an answer for that one. And for poll, we just choose the one that we want. There's the game finished. Uh, and we can look at the answers that they submitted if we wanted to. So, Let's close that. So there we have it, the new features to quizzes. I think that adds some real extra usability and can alter the variety of sessions. If you want to know more about using quizzes and specifically the homework features, you can set the quizzes remotely, then click up on the link in the top right corner. Uh, otherwise, like and subscribe and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.